So recently, Shannon Sharp and Chad Johnson were on their Nightcap podcast where a fan asked the pair what was the hardest hit they've ever taken. And these two took the audience down memory lane back when defenders dished out brutal hits that ultimately went unpunished. Honestly, it's pretty crazy how far the league has come cracking down on these career-ending hits in recent years, but it goes to show you how different the game was over 20 years ago. So Shannon and Chad recalled a couple hits that left the pair concussed on the field, and I actually dug around and found video footage of these hits, which you'll see shortly. And honestly, these were some pretty gruesome hits as both guys had the clocks cleaned out in both instances. Things could have certainly taken a turn for the worse, as we all know Shannon's older brother, Sterling Sharp, had his career... Ask us to recall the hardest hit we've ever taken. Hardest? Oh, I, I know what mine is. Who? who somebody I, I caught got, you? I got. And on. I know. I bet. I bet you. I bet you got caught on the slant too. Either a no, slant or a seam. I got caught on the over route. I got two, two. Rest his soul, Orlando Thomas. I ran a far cross. Yeah. And check this out. What made it so bad? He picked it. So I'm going. I'm looking for the ball like this. Ooh. He jumps up. Knee catches me in the chin. I'm out. I'm out before I even hit the dirt. Before Wait, I hit the turf. Boom. Wait, out cold. Out. Out. O u w t. Out. First down at the 34 yard line with two minutes gone by in the second, and Elway floats it out. Oh, what a hit! A shot and shot, and was picked up out of the flexion by Orlando. Hurt. A wallop that knocked the ball loose from Sharp. Well, this ball, as soon as he let it go, it was trouble for Shannon Sharp because Orlando Thomas, covering nobody down the field, is just waiting for the ball to come. Number 43, Orlando Thomas coming up, just going for the football. Intercepts and delivers a blow at the same time. Well, the good news is that Shannon Sharp got off and ran off the field. Let's take a look at this hit. You talk about total concentration by the defensive back. Not only do you knock him down, Thomas knocks Sharp down, but he also intercepts the ball. I um, we were playing the, we were playing the, the Browns. We were playing at home. I never hey. forget this, and a lot of people remember this is the era during the time where I had the blonde mohawk. I mind you, I'm in my prime now. Uh huh. I never forget. <laughs> two two by two by. Two, two by two set. Okay. You know, when you got two receivers on one side and it's third down, slant's coming. Yeah, oh, yeah. Double slant. Double slant's coming. <laughs> Man, I run the slant. Carson, I don't know if the ball might have slipped out of Carson's hand by accident, maybe a tad bit. I, the ball was too high. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar couldn't have caught this ball. What do I do? <laughs> you jump for I it. I still jump anyway, trying to go get it. i never forget this, man. Brian Russell. Brian Russell, the safety for the Browns at the time hit me up under my chin. My helmet went flying one way. It's blood gushing. My jersey, I'm knocked out on the field. I'm knocked out cold. Wow. Like, knocked out cold. Now a third and six for Cincinnati. Palmer, intercepted. He is picked off by Lee Bodden. And Bodden taking it down the sideline, out across the 25. And finally tackled at the 22-yard line. A bloody Chad Johnson. He got leveled by Brian Russell. Take a listen. Wow. Helmet off, chin strap gone. Blood coming out of the chin of Chad Johnson. I think he played for the Vikings too, Ocho. Check and see if Brian Russell played for the Vikings. Because I think he got me too, Ocho. He did? I think he did. No, Unc, Unc, listen. I was knocked out. I'm talking about knocked out. Like when you in the boxing ring and somebody knock you out, you yeah. sleep? Yes. But I was I was sleep on the field. Then I'm not sure what happened after that. In, in, 2000, so after, in 2002, 2002, 2002, he got me too, Ocho. Oh, that was him? He listen. Did, hey, he got he got a, 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 a unnecessary roughness. He talking about my bad. I, I said, what you mean, your bad? You dirty mofo. <laughs> Man, oh, listen. He put his helmet right up under my chin on a scene route. Burline needs the 27 for a first down. These Marvin. teams have combined 0 for 9 on third down today. Burline over the middle. Bounces out of the hands of Shannon Sharp and Markers fly. Then after the game, 
the media wanted to interview me, I'm still concussed. Like if I'm sure if, if when they edit this and we talk about this, you can see me after the game. I'm still concussed. All I want to know is how did Lee Biden do? Like you could tell I'm still woozy. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I never, ever, ever, ever been hit like that again. And that that obviously that's the hardest hit because I didn't see it coming. Okay, let's rock. How badly were you hit there? I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. How did Biden do, guys? Hey, guys, I think we're going to have to let Chad rest here. He's huge!